All right, everyone. Four months ago, I announced that I would be a candidate for mayor in November. I am running to be your next mayor of Duluth. And today I am here to share with you that in this campaign, I will not be seeking any political party endorsements. The office of mayor is intended to be nonpartisan, and the only endorsement that matters to me is that of Duluthians. When I announced, I took time during that speech to talk about some of our campaign values. I am convinced this decision reflects those values and is also good for the civic health of Duluth. An important value I shared with you is that we will not run a negative campaign. Nor will it ever be personal to any other person or any other candidate. You don't have to tear down to build up. You don't have to attack to support. And while critique is fair and appropriate, it doesn't need to be personal. And even though some other candidates have been kind of negative and personal recently, we are not going there. Even in the way we campaign, let's expect more and do better. Another important value I shared in January was that I highlighted my willingness to work with anyone willing to work with me. And I am willing to work with anyone who is willing to work with me. I am closing in on a thousand conversations over the past four months. Old, young, east, west, liberal, conservative. Even as we stood there in January, we had a spectrum of political opinions represented. There were some looking around wondering, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, friends, I'm the Purple Caucus guy. That's who I've always been. Now I realize this will be surprising to some. It will be good news to others and perhaps even angering to others still. So let me answer now what I think a few common responses might be. First, well, doesn't that mean your campaign is over? Absolutely not. We have a tremendous base of support and many, perhaps most, are not active with a political party. They are simply Duluthians who are ready for something different. Also, this is not a partisan race. The top two vote getters in the August primary will move on to the general election in November. That's regardless of party label or no label. Another comment, oh, I knew it. You're secretly a Republican. <laughs> I've already seen these comments online and they kind of crack me up because I've also seen the comments online that say, well, he's just another crazy liberal. Duluth, you know who I am. I first ran for city council in 2001, so I have now been in public service of some way, shape, or form for over 20 years. I've been endorsed and elected multiple times as a DFL candidate, but I've always been a moderate, a consensus builder, a business Democrat, a little more fiscally conservative, a little more socially liberal, and that has not changed. Lastly, well, you weren't going to get it anyway. Maybe, but that's not the point. The only endorsement that should matter to the elected mayor of our community is that of Duluthians. And not just one slice of Duluthians, but a politically diverse group. When I announced last January, I said the change in campaigns that voters want in elections can start in Duluth and can start right now. I believe honoring the nonpartisan nature we all need in the office of mayor by not seeking political party endorsements is a step in that direction. Thank you, Duluth.